Hey guys, myself Rakesh and I welcome you back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn creating and calling function in Python. Function, right? The moment you hear the word function, we are confused. What is function? It says function is a block of code. Again, you will have a doubt. What is the block of code again? And that only executes when it is invoked or called. So let's see a very good example which would help you to understand what is a function, what do I mean by block of code and it only executes when it is invoked or called. So the entire meaning will be very very clear. Now for this we will take an example. Let's say I have a company called ABC, ABC dot something like that. Okay, I have a company just for an example and any customer who comes I would like to greet the customer with a message. Let's say welcome to ABC company, ABC company. I want to greet the customer. Hmm? And in a company, there could be a multiple customers will be coming, and I need to say the same sentence several times, right? So with this example, we need a first of all we need to create a block of code which would, you know, print this welcome to ABC company. So for that, so when it comes to function, the function is actually defined. You need to define it. So to define it, you use the keyword DEF. DEF stands for define. Okay. Now here, because this is, I'll give a name called welcome message. And here I'm going to use the parenthesis and a colon. Look at this. I'm going to explain. And then the moment you hit on and enter, what happened? There's an indent. There is a space. By default, it will come. Okay. So do not remove the space. The space has to be there. Otherwise, the block of code will not function. This is a rule. So the space has to be there. Now here I will say print and I'm going to say um, welcome to ABC dot 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 something like that. Okay. Company. Okay. So I have defined a function. So this is known as a block of code. It could be anything. Okay. You can do addition, subtraction, anything it could be any kind of a calculation but again in simple terms this is a simple block of code a function is a block of code that only executes when it is invoked or called so what is the meaning for example let's say i wanted to uh, so go back in the line i'm going back to the main uh, line and here let's say i want to call this welcome message and i'm going to simply call it okay and no colon will be used simply a parenthesis is enough okay remember look at the syntax the way i'm writing there's no space there's a colon all these are syntax and it has to be written the same exact way and i want to call this so this time what i'm doing i'm simply calling it okay i'm simply calling it hit on f5 i'm going to run this i'm using idle so run this piece of code so what would happen it is automatically printing welcome to abc company isn't it so i can do it mul multiple times let's say there are multiple customers this can just can be called several times so i have to write in the exact way okay with the parenthesis and i need to run it f5 okay so you can see as many times i am calling it it is saying welcome to abc company welcome to abc company so i can call I don't have to write this code several times now. Print welcome to ABC company. Print welcome. So with the just by calling it, it does the job for me. Now there is a question, Rakesh. This is not enough. Let's say the customer has a name. Customer has a name. You need to greet him with his name. You know, you want to make it more personalized message. So how this can be done? Yes, that can also be done using. Let's say I'm going to create a argument known as customer name. So what is this? So remember how we have defined, how you have to define a function. First you have to write def, which is for define. And then you have to write the function name. You can give any name you want, any name, doesn't matter. So welcome message, right? So uh, apart from the reserved names, so you are giving a name. Okay, you are giving a name. And then, then I inside this parenthesis, you'll be using something called arguments. So whatever you are mentioning inside this is an argument. For example, let's see a demo. Okay, let's see a demo how this one works. So here what I have done, I have written customer name and in the print while it is printing, I will say customer name. Okay, I'm writing these are all case sensitive welcome message, customer name. So the variables are case sensitive. So ensure 
uh, the names are case sensitive so ensure we are typing it in the same way without any spelling mistake and also lower case upper case everything has to match exactly the same in python print customer name i'm putting a comma right and i will give it a dash and then a comma and i'm going to say welcome to or else just to make it more simpler i can put a dash before this that also does a job so customer name rakesh and then it will say welcome to abc company so how do i use this to call this all i have to do to call the function the entire block of code all i have to do i have to use the function name what is the function name welcome message this is the function name and in the bracket this time last time i was leaving blank because there was no argument here i have used an argument now i can pass a value to it for example i am saying rakesh any value i can pass so i am passing rakesh so what would happen just by calling this welcome message function and passing the name as rakesh it is going to print rakesh welcome to abc company so this is very interesting let's run it f5 it on okay and you can see it said rakesh welcome to abc company getting it so it is giving a name let's say you want to do instead of customer name right one more very important thing what would happen if i call it is like this welcome message so i made a small mistake instead of writing in capital letter i'm writing in lower case okay everything else remain the same i'm going to simply write let's say rakesh any name you can pass by the way so what would happen if i run this f5 so there are two two times i'm calling it okay let's see what is the output now for the first one it has printed properly for the second one it said there is a error what is the error welcome message is not defined did you mean welcome message so having a small mistake you know it won't work so ensure the way you have written upper case lower case the exact way you have to write it okay that is one of the important point in python you need to remember so what happened here i have passed the customer name so it is it is happily printing the customer name i can pass any value to it let's say instead of customer with customer name i want to use the customer id so i am saying cust id with customer name i also want to print the customer id so for that what i will do in the printing uh, block in the printing line where i am printing the message i am going to make a little change i'll say customer name and then in dub i'll use a single quote um and then give it a uh, let's say i want to uh, write it in uh, or let's use a small dash okay for example after custom name i'm using a small dash and here i'm putting a comma okay and after that look at this how i'm writing by by making small mistake this will become a problem so for this colon um and then i have given a comma and this again is there in the um double quotes here i i will write customer id and ensure the way you are writing it has to match as per the function so i'll say cust id okay and give it a comma comma is very important so customer name and then it will put a it will print a dash and then it will say customer id and then it is going to print this okay now let's see how this one is working okay so i will say i will take the name of the function welcome message and in the bracket i need to pass two different arguments now one is the customer name and the customer id so let's say i am going to print some other name let's say john okay comma and customer id so the customer 1 2 3 4 5 6 is the customer id let's say so what would happen this john will pass to customer name when you are calling this function 1 2 3 4 5 6 will pass to customer id and as per the block of code it's supposed to print it so it is going to use those values and print it very simple so let's run it f5 so you can see john customer id welcome to abc company so you can do lot of customization okay now you can think once you have understood how it is working you can do lot of customization up to you now let's say let's take another example let's say i want to do some addition so what is the benefit of this i can call the function several time because this is having only one line of code just imagine there are multiple lines of codes very big you know it is doing lot of work so you don't want to write the same set of instructions several times in a project you would like to call you know define it as a function and you would like to call that and do what it's supposed to do just by calling the name right 
so let's say um, I want to do a sum okay so I will create another function and I will say addition okay or the let's say purchase order um, um, let, let's take simple example okay I'm saying addition okay I'm creating a function and given a name define addition and then um, here in the addition I'm going to pass two different values one is to the argument X this is argument y so remember what is argument here within the function when I'm writing two variables this becomes an argument okay so I've defined and once you define colon is very very important colon represents the block of code so ensure colon here is given then hit on enter so what would happen the moment you would do that it automatically understand this is a block of code and it, it provides an indent or a space automatically okay the moment you hit on enter it automatically provides an indent or a space now let's say I want to print print and I want to sum it so I will say x uh, and then I will say plus and I want to say y so what would happen whatever the value we are passing is going to add it okay now let, let's let's keep it simple and let's call this function go give it a backspace and I want to call and write it in the same okay they are case sensitive so I'm going to write in the same way and here I'm going to pass two values so I'm going to pass 10 comma I'm going to pass 20 what I'm passing 10 comma 20 I'm passing so what should be the output 30 should be the output so let's run it f5 okay so you can see the output is 30 now you can do a lot of modification you want to say that the sum is you want to write all that right for example the sum or the addition value is whatever value is you know something like that you want to type can do that give it a comma very very important okay now let's run it again f5 hit on okay so the sum value is 30 right so what would happen by defining such small block of codes or maybe a large block of code doesn't matter it is easy for me to call this block of code several times in the project let's say the addition has to be done 10 times or 20 times in a project you don't want to write the same formula several times you will define it first you will make it a function and then call it several times I can call it several times and I can pass various values let's say next time I want to do addition of 39 um, comma something like that okay so if I if I have to do that so what would happen even this is going to work for example if I hit on f5 okay the first one the sum value is 30 the for the second one the sum value is 497 understanding so it becomes very easy uh, to uh, you know provide a different value and uh, you know get what we need right uh, so that's where we are using arguments so this is again a basic uh, information about function there are a lot many things we are going to learn as we proceed uh, so please do connect with our channel I have created a Python playlist on my channel please do utilize uh, all the videos that I'm creating there will be something that you're going to learn from each and every video thank you guys Take care. We are going to meet in our next video. Bye-bye.